everyone, I'm Sally and this is episode 11 of Zetacraft. So today we are going to build the dock that is going behind this house that I am currently stood in. If I go into first person again, I have laid out a sort of a plan um, of where I want to put it. I swear, it's so dark inside my house. Is it night time yet? No, the sun's just coming up. Okay. Um, yeah, so the blue wall is kind of going to be the edge of the dock. I've not fully settled on, like, the area, so, like, this comes out very far. Um, and my plan is to have the dock kind of raised, but I think what I'm going to do first is get the wood in place and then build up, like, maybe a stone part of the dock that's a bit more structurally sound for the rest of it, because the dock's only going to be... Don't have any blocks on me. The dock is only going to be like one block above sea level. Um, so then you can go down. But I may change that while I'm building it. I may make it two blocks. Um, but I don't really want to go any higher than two blocks. So like the it would be the top slab of this one here. Um, and then you go down into the ones that go by the water. So we will see where that goes. But first I need to go get one type of wood. The only type of wood world that I do not have. So if I get back into my storage room, if I can get there, um, I have all the vanilla types, I think. Uh, do I have all the vanilla types? I do. I have all the vanilla types and I have one, two, three, four, five of the modded types. And the only one that I don't have is the willow block. Now, I do know where the willow block is, so I'm going to fly over. I know I said I wasn't going to use my elytra, but it is just easier to get to places, especially where we are about to go, which is over the water. Let's go through the brewery and out towards where Splash's base is, which is over here. I think this biome that I want is just over here, so... If we fly across, we should be able to get there. Ooh, also, while I'm thinking about it, before I forget, things are happening in the shopping district. I do not know what is going here. Um, all I know is that it was ripped down. And there is a map in the shopping district, well, there was, that says uh, leveling of the hill with the yellow X is commencing today, which is uh, here, which has obviously been taken down now. So I don't really know what's going on over there, but it looks kind of cool. The map looks pretty cool as well. We need to join up mindlesses and my shops with the rest of the shops that are kind of round here and up here. Um, so we kind of need to build something here. I know there is something going here though, so we shall see. And also, Geek left this shulker box here. This is an amazing shulker box. I'm not going to lie, mainly for the netherite and kind of for the diamonds. I do have some diamonds. Um, this sculpt transmitter is kind of like wireless storage. You can link it to a chest. I do have one already, but it is geeks and I really need to give it back to him. Um, and yeah, the netherite and maybe some more rockets and some food. But to win that, we have to answer the riddle. Here's a little riddle. Can you figure out what it's about? I'll pick the winner of this on the 16th of July, which is today. So we may... I've already answered it because I didn't know if I'd be able to have a chance to record today. Um, but And you can win the amazing shulker box next to the lectern, the one that's here. So click the next page for the riddle and page four for the answers. So the riddle is, I in the depths yet float on hot sea. From solid to liquid, I can be set free. I can burn and smell, create and destroy a source of great power or just a decoy. Now there is a second page but this looks like a second riddle, so I'm going to leave that. And see, Mindless has changed his answer. Everybody put lava, so I put lava. But Mindless has changed his answer because the second part of the riddle, I'm ancient and strong with a purpose divine. When crafted in and placed, I show you the time. That makes me think a clock or gold to craft into it. I'm hot to the touch, but cool in your hands. In the overworld, I'm a sight to command. So I'm kind of a little bit confused. I'm assuming that the whole thing is it. So I'm found in the depths would be, I might change my answer to ancient debris actually. I was going to put that, but then I saw lava and I thought, mm, go with the lava. 
yet float on hot sea. And ancient debris does float on lava. Solid to liquid, I can be set free. So I'm assuming that is burning stuff, like smelting it. But I can burn and smelt. You can't smelt and you can't create and destroy with it. You can create with it, but you can't destroy with it. Unless it's like the tools. Um, but you can't smelt with it. But then ancient and strong... I, I don't know. It's a really hard riddle. And I can't ask you guys because it's too late. Because this comes out today. I might put gold. Just to be awkward. But gold doesn't float. You know what? I'm going to change my answer to ancient debris. Sorry, mindless. I'm not copying you, mindless. I was going to do that originally. Ancient... Unless it's netherite scrap now. Netherite scrap doesn't do anything. So I'm going to go with that. Oh, it's a piglin. Am I, the, I am the only one online. I heard a weird noise and I didn't know what it was and it freaked me out. Um, so yeah, we're going to go back with ancient debris. So I don't know. Geek's going to give this out probably later when I won't be online, but we'll see if he comes online while I am recording. But anyway, back to where we're going. The tree that I'm looking for is a willow tree because the willow wood looks really cool against the spruce wood. Uh, that's Mega's base. Um, he has built some more stuff. That's a new building. Uh, I won't show it too much so I don't know if he's shown it in a video. Uh, but yeah, the willow tree looks really cool against the spruce wood and the willow trap doors look even cooler so I'm hoping that this swamp here has it in. And uh, this is why I'm not taking the horse because it's all the way across the ocean and I can't be bothered to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, there we go, a willow tree. This is the willow tree, ow. So I'm gonna chop this down and get some saplings and go somewhere and grow some more. And then I will show you my plans for the, what does the stripped version look like actually? Ooh, the stripped version might work for what I want to do. Okay, that's good. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get some of this. Do I have a hoe on me? Probably not. No, that's not. That's not my ender chest. Come on. I do. Okay. Excuse me. Did oh, okay. I thought I just lost my hoe because of the thing. Yeah, so I'm going to get some of this and I'm going to probably go to my guardian farm and grow some more trees because I'm going to need more than just four. So I'll probably get like half a shulker box full or something just so I have it. And then we can get jump in to building what I'm going to build and I will show you what I'm going to do. I've got all my wood. Uh, I got probably, I may need some more. I hope I don't. I hope I don't need too many trapdoors because that'll take up. But I thought I'd just show you the nether roof because... Uh, Guru has done some amazing stuff. He's basically, he's added a path um, to everybody's bases and direction, well, not direction, signposts to people's bases. I don't have one, but I mean, it's kind of obvious. I'm on the line and you can see my name. Uh, Guru's portal's there. That portal is Bleat's portal. Then we've got Dio's just over there. And then some other ones further down, which is like the, I think that's the Wither Skelly farm. And he's also made something amazing at spawn, which I wanted to show you. So this is the spawn portal. You've got the south road going that way that has uh, the majority of people, I'm not gonna lie, most people went south. And then you can come up here and going north, we've got the rest of the gang and the end portal, which is good because I need to go to the end at some point. So maybe we'll do that next episode because I've been putting it off because I know it's going to be really scary and I really don't want to go. But uh, we should go soon because it's supposed to look really cool. Um, I have been in a better end before and he's also built this, which is really cool. It's just like a giant compass at spawn. I'm assuming if we die, we'd spawn here. If we don't, that'd be really sad. But obviously you spawn in different places. So like anywhere on here would be cool. It's night time. Uh, let me sleep so we can show this in better light. I think this is wool on the floor. Um, it sounds like wool when you hit it. But if I... Come on, go away, go away. Come on, get clear up. There we go. If I go into free cam and just go up. Giant compass and then a portal and then shopping districts over there. 
Um, but this is really cool and I really like it. Nice build, Guru. Uh, I don't know what's underneath, if anything. So I'm going to have a bit of a nosy just to see if it's... Uh, yeah, it's just a platform. Oh, cool. He's actually added in stuff. Guru, you're such an amazing builder. Like, if you see this episode, you're an amazing builder. And this is really cool. So, yeah, it's not just a platform. He's got details. And see, this is the kind of stuff that I just wouldn't do. It'd just be solid. Solid brick going down. But, yeah, this is really cool. Um, and we can fly back over to my base, which is just over here. Plan is to start, I'm going to start at this end because I know where it wants to go at this end and then work my way across to roughly where that other wall is, but it's going to be a big dock if I do that, so I'm going to need to add some more builds to make it look better. Um, but I want it to stick out, Oof, I don't know, this is going to be kind of awkward, a little bit. Um, let's put that there. Now, where do I want it to start? Do I want it to come out here? No, I want it to kind of be, this is a straight end. So it ends here and I'm using the trick where you put like a darker wood type underneath the water. And then if I strip it, it looks like that. Normally I'd use dark oak, but since I've got willow, um, I thought I would use willow. And then we're gonna have five block gap between. So one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then do it. And they will go all the way down to the ground. Um, whether they'll all be stripped is another question because I will probably forget. Um, and we want to come all the way out. So one, two, three, four, five on the sixth one. And then probably do another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I want it to be kind of rectangular um, and not go in and out just one because it makes it easier to build and two because I think it looks a bit neater um, there may be some so then we just go straight across to over there maybe uh, I'm not really sure but from here we're gonna come up by another two maybe they say I was gonna put it on that block yeah, I'll do it on this bit and then we will, oops, we will time lapse the rest of it because it'll just be a lot of placing blocks it. Uh, and then we need that crafting table to craft into slabs and then we'll add trapdoors and stuff later um, once I've done all of this because these two blocks look really cool together. Oops. Have I got, yeah. And then we do like to here, like so. And then just mix in some of the, whoops. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of annoying to do it near the water. Oh, I started too far this way. Um, And then, yeah, and then we mix it in like this. And I think this is gonna look really good. There'll be space underneath to go underneath if you really want to. Maybe we'll add a secret entrance or something. I don't know. And then it comes across like this. And then there's another material that I need to craft. I will probably come back in and... What's his drowning? Oh, them. <laughs> Who's taking damage? Uh, give it that. Uh, let me just... And then we can just add in the willow. See, the willow is like, it's not as dark as dark oak but it still kind of looks like it's worn away because of the water uh, and things like that. And I think this looks really cool. And then it'll just come out to kind of onto the grass and you can just walk onto the dock, maybe. I haven't decided what I'm gonna put behind yet. I may, like I said, put like a building or something. And then we need, um, I can't remember what they're called. They are the spruce horse fence, I think. This one, how do I craft this? Oh, I need sticks. Uh, let me just... And then I chose this one because I think this looks really cool. Like it looks like a really good edge. And then on top of here, we'll probably have either planks or trapdoors um, or torches. I uh, haven't decided yet. So yeah, this is going to go all the way around. Um, I may come back in over here, but there's going to be a pretty big dock area. Um, I haven't actually planned it. I'm going to wing it. So I think what we're going to do is... 
just jump into a time lapse. raining again obviously but this is what I have so far as you saw from the time lapse I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit so it kind of just follows the terrain mostly I didn't want all of this to be spruce and just wood so I brought it in um it, it did come here but then I thought and I'll bring it in one more and then we can build around the outside and maybe have something here but this sticky out bit here I think I'm gonna add like a, a lower section that goes across the bottom to kind of like sort out having to have separate docks. You've got one big dock that comes and maybe a couple coming out or so like that. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I haven't added in trap doors or anything just yet or the fences because I wanted to figure out where I was gonna put like the walk down bit. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm not gonna time lapse it because it'll just be the same stuff again and again and again and don't you see that. So I'm gonna do that and then I will be back. Before I show you the extra stuff that I did to the dock, it has been a couple of days and in those couple of days the riddle has come to an end and I was right, it was ancient debris, I should have gone with my gut the first time I saw it, um, so I'm glad I changed it and it was between me and Mindless and in the randomization that Geek did, Mindless won it, but there is a new riddle which is why I am over here that is done on the 26th of July, so same principle, um, I'm assuming it's a long one, yeah there we go. So it is glimmering with a lustrous sheen in gardens I am seldom seen, crafted with care, not found in chests, I met valued by those on epic quests. Though made of gold, I'm not for wealth, I bring vitality and yeah, I bring vitality and stealth. In potions brewed, I played my part, enhancing vision in the dark. In potions brewed. What am I? Okay, so it's... Is it golden carrots? Glimmering with luster seen in gardens I am seldom seen. Golden carrot. It's got to be a golden carrot because it's the... It's it's a shiny thing. It That thing makes me think it should be in a garden, but it's not because obviously you don't plant garden carrots and you craft it and it's not... Well, it... Can you find them in chests? I don't think you can find them in chests. Only you can find them in village chests, to be fair. So I think I think Geek may have got that bit wrong. Valued by those on epic quests because it's great for saturation. Made with gold, it's not for wealth. Bring vitality and stealth. Health, probably better. Um, in potions brewed, I played my part enhancing visions in the dark and you use garden carrots to make night vision potions. So I'm going to put my name and write golden carrots and next episode or actually when is it 26 so probably two episodes from now maybe depends depends how many episodes i can get out between then and now um i will try if i win i'll try and get geek to give it me on camera but what is in the box Ooh, the same stuff i mean netherite's the main thing i want i do have a ruby fire helmet in my ender chest is there an ender chest have i got an ender chest that geek gave me called sally's thinking cap <laughs> that I, I really should use because I'm pretty sure the armor is a lot better. So it's three armor, three knockback and 2.6 armor toughness, which is better toughness. Well, actually, uh, it's better knockback resistance, but not as good toughness, which I think is because netherite is just good against fire. So 
yeah, if I, whoops, don't want to change Geek's thing. If I do win this, I'll probably change to Ruby Armor. Um, there's no, there's no chest plate, Geek. What? No, what, what if people don't wear Elytra? But this is a pretty good box. I like this box with the TNT, the gold, and with a skelly heads and some ancient vases. Although we all know what happened last time I did ancient vases. I nearly died. So we may not do them. We may make like a, a chamber to do them in so they can't come and get me. But yeah. I got over here via the tunnel from the shopping district, so someone's been building. <laughs> Wait. Ah, oh, sad times. I'll take the arrows. <laughs> Must have been building and throwing stuff. Um, Yeah, I got over here via the shopping district. Why didn't I notice this before? Someone's added onto my house. Oh, Guru added to my little row of houses. He did mention that there was an estate agent. Guru, this looks really cool. I like that you... Oh, yes, this, see, this is what I wanted. I wanted people to add to my shopping row. Although the, the robins seem to be very excited. What's in this? This way to book your vacation. Ah, okay. You go to the nether. Okay. But yeah, so I got here via my um, tunnel. So I'm going to go back that way because it is quicker than trying to traverse over the stuff. And I will show you the rest of the... Uh, dock that I have built. Now it's not obviously finished because there's a lot of things that need to go on the dock but the actual dock itself is done and here it is. So obviously I said we, you saw all this like the main layout but I have added the trap doors in. These are the willow trap doors and they look basically just like planks that have rotted away and I really like that other than obviously it's a trap door and it's like a quarter of the size of a width of a plank but that's fine it looks really cool um i've added in these lanterns which we can turn off so i may go around and turn off a couple of random ones like they've broken um but it depends on light levels so like maybe like one of these ones could go off because you've got like three in a corner um and i added in the fences which again look really cool and then this bit over here i added in um that i said i was going to do at the end of the last clip which is where all the dark, the boats can park. So you can bring boats up here like this, um, or you can have like a bigger boat on the end so all the little boats can kind of get through. I mean, it probably needs to stick out further if there's going to be like a really big like ship, which is kind of the plan, but we do only have, if I go into free cam, this little riverway to get to the uh, ocean. We need to sort that bit out over there because that makes it really thin. But if I go on the main map, this is an ocean. I mean, it's not a big ocean, but it is an ocean. So we've got an ocean over there. And the idea is that, like, Splash's ship could get all the way through to me. So you need to like, probably take this end bit off here of where my castle is going to be. And also make this bit a bit wider so that we can add, like, another ship here. Uh, which is the plan at some point. I'm, I don't know when because I'm not great at building ships. So we will see. Um, and then they can have like a plank coming out. So it's like a little walkway thing. And yeah, so the only thing that I don't like about it at the moment is, is obviously it's floating here. Now, there's two ways to fix this. Either I bring this out so it comes all the way to here. But then you've got like a really big chunk of wood here. And I don't know if that's great. And then obviously there's this bit here which goes all the way back there. So we probably have to bring up the ground the ground up a bit here or just like go to here and add some stairs maybe so you can get up and down um but I'm not sure so let me know in the comments what you think I should do if you should if I should like drag it out to sort of be in line so you'd kind of like do I have any blocks no I don't so like I'd make a curve here and then just follow it back around um so it's like this bit here or if I should bring the ground in and raise this bit in the middle but yeah, other than that, I think that's all for today's episode, everyone. I know it's late again. I've been really busy. I was on holiday and didn't have time to record before I went away um, for the day I got back, basically. So yeah, hopefully my schedule is going to be a little bit more open for the next few weeks until September when I go away again. Uh, but where's my camera? There it is. I do have a new project starting soon on stream with some friends starting on the 20th oh so tomorrow tomorrow for me i'm hoping i can get this video out tonight um otherwise this video doesn't make sense the 20th of july i will be streaming and we will have a stream project it's me dio and a couple of other people 
So, yeah. Keep an eye out on my Twitch channel. Links are down in the description below. But, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this episode, everyone. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys!